<laughs> bruh, bruh. Bruh, I literally just unmuted my microphone just now. I was laughing the entire time as I see, seen this post right here, okay? What's poppin' everybody? This is your boy Desmond D, aka Destination Gaming. Back at it again with another banger. <laughs> Bruh, you think that I'm excited. You think that I'm happy about this whole entire thing, man. Look, look at look at the names that Sean Ross Sapp had tweeted out. He tweeted this out earlier around it's like it's it's eleven forty six over here. Around eight twenty one he said this. Fightful has learned that WWE has have released John Morrison, Top Dollar, Ashante Adonis, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Tegan Knox, Drake Maverick, Shane Thorne, and Jackson Riker. And all I gotta say is this. Good. 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 I am extremely excited that every last one of these people have been released. I really am. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna front with you. Let's take a look. We're gonna take down. We're gonna put the negative out of everybody that's in the group into the top. Okay. We're gonna start off with the. We're gonna start with one person. Okay. We're gonna start off with Jackson Riker. Now, if you guys have followed me on my YouTube channel, if you guys follow me on my YouTube channel, you guys know that I have been begging, instantly begging. For Jackson Riker to, to to leave WWE. I've been begging him to be released for the WWE for quite a while now. Quite a while. And I've been saying this for the longest time. He should have been the guy to be released in the previous release. When Keith Lee, Karrion Cross, Mia Yim, Ember Moon, everybody else, all these people that was being released, he should have been one of them. That's why I did not put up the post. That's why I didn't make no video about the previous one. That previous one shocked me so much that I didn't even want to make a video of it. I did not want to make a single freaking video about it. So we're just gonna start off with the start off with the rest of these people. First off, they released John Morrison. No surprise there. No surprise whatsoever. They were sending. Ever since he's got on the ma got got back in WWE, he has done nothing in his company. Nothing. I ain't seen a single singles title on his around his waist one time since he's been back. Are you serious? The guru of greatness, the shaman of sexy, all of the names that he had. Ever since he came back, he has been working with the Miz. Ever since then. There's no way in the hell, guys, that this man should have, there's no way in hell that this man should have at least, I can't even say it right. There's no way that he should be partnered up with The Miz when he has, when he has so much talent in him, he could have been a mid-card champion by now. At least an Intercontinental Champion or U.S. Champion. Somewhere down the line, he could have been a champion. But nope, 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 nope. WWE was so thirsty to be to have a whole bunch of tag teams that you want to go ahead and give John Morris and The Miz one last tag team run before one of them gets split up. I don't get this company, man. And speaking of which, speaking of John Morrison, hold up. Hold on, y'all. Because I just got a, saw a tweet from his wife, Taka Valkyrie, a.k.a. John Morrison's wife. You don't believe me? Look at the tweets, y'all. Her face is right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right here. She calls for fans to stop supporting WWE after the new wave of release. <laughs> Bruh, this is what she said. Yo, fuck them. This is what she said. I am not lying. I'm literally reading stuff from, from ringside news. I am not lying to y'all, okay? Stop supporting a company that has zero respect for their talent. 
You love pro wrestling. Spend your money on the hundreds of other alternatives. This is wrong. Ethnically, as employers, they don't care about us. Talents or fans. I said what I said, agree or disagree. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming and rebuilding our empire. End quote. What y'all want me to say? What do you guys want me to say? Y'all want me to say anything more other than any, anything what she said? Everything that she said in that tweet was absolutely right. WWE doesn't give a fuck about this damn company. They don't give a damn about the fans, nor do they care about the talent. All they care about is trying to impress Vince McMahon and everybody else. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. That's all they've been doing since day freaking one. Ever since John fucking Morrison came on the main fucking roster. And I know I was laughing in the beginning, but this is really pissing me off. WWE doesn't give a fuck about these damn talents. They don't care about the talents or building them up. They don't care about the fans. They don't care about them. They don't care about us. And I've been a WWE fan since 2006 going into 2007, bro. I was eight. Eight! When I seen this company. Years later, I'm looking at them now like, who are you? Why are you doing this? Why? Why are you doing this? Where does John Morrison and his wife go? I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe they can go to MLW. Maybe work together at some point. I don't really necessarily see John Morrison as an AEW guy. I really don't really fully see him as an AEW guy. Maybe he can be be there. Maybe maybe like a one time appearance or some or something like that. Or you know he just I just see him as either an MLW or going back to Impact. Maybe calling him Johnny Impact or some or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's in anywhere is so much better than WWE. That's all I'm saying. Top dollar Ashanti Adonis and Isaiah Swerve Scott. <laughs> Bruh, ever since I heard Top Dollar been sitting there, want to throw shade on everybody saying that, oh, we did this and we did... Man, man, look, listen, Top Dollar, listen, bruh. You're full of shit. You really are, like... It's point blank, period, bruh. It's very, very simple, like... <laughs> what's all... Where was all that talking from? Where's all this hype and talking from, bruh? Where was all this hype and talking from, bruh? It is what it is. Isaiah Swerve Scott is a is a awesome talent. Ashante Dallas Adonis, awesome talent. Where do I see Isaiah Swerve Scott going? Like I said about Johnny about John Morrison, maybe he can go to MLW. But I do see a kind of a key fit for an AEW type feel. I think for a guy like Isaiah Swerve Scott, that could be a really cool feel for AEW. That could be a really cool fit. Maybe, hey, maybe Ashanti Adonis and Top Dollar can go with them and rebuild um, um, Hit Row along with B-Fab. Maybe. But if not, then you're going to have to go over to MLW. He was on M MLW before. Now you can go back over there and become the next MLW middleweight champion or heavyweight champion or whatever championship they got over there. Tegan Knox. This surprised me. Well, this surprised me a little bit. But it didn't surprise me too much. You know what I mean? Because I kind of figured that they wasn't really going to use her. It's mighty funny how you used her with her and, Sh and Shotzi Blackheart for about a few weeks going on to a month on the roster. You know. Yeah. And then what happened after the brand split? She was being drafted to Raw. I'm thinking that we're gonna get Tegan Knox on the like on Monday Night Raw, getting some fresh matches. That's on one side of me, but then the other side of me is like, you know what? I kind of know 
that WWE is not really going to do anything with Tegan Knox. So I'm not really going to be fully surprised if they don't use her. Definitely didn't use her in the Queen's Crown Tournament. So why the hell should I be expecting for you to do something with a woman like Tegan Knox? Now, Tegan Knox, amazing talent. She is a fantastic talented or uh, talented uh, wrestler. Where does she go after this? Maybe go to Impact. I don't know. I don't know. I see her going to Impact. Maybe go to AEW. Not really. Go to NWA or, so, or something like that. Maybe that could work. Maybe that could work. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said before, anything other than WWE is, is totally fine with me. Totally fine with me. Drake Maverick. Oh, man. Once again, they released this guy. Once again. Not once, but twice. I don't know what is up with Drake Maverick, man. Drake Maverick was... I seen how he was in NXT before uh, Killian Dane was released. He was be tag team partners with Killian Dane. And then all of a sudden he started going to start doing... Um, Start doing some stuff for NXT and 205 Live and stuff, stuff like that. You know, I see his work in the ring. He's pretty good in the ring. He's really good. Where does Drake Maverick go? I have no idea. Maybe he can be partnering up. He could be do doing some uh, some promo work or wrestling work with EC3 and Braun Strowman. I don't know. I I, I mean, I don't know. I honestly do, do not know. With a man like Dre Maverick, I honestly expect him to be either be working with EC3 and Braun Strowman because all two of them are great friends. That can honestly work. I can see that, see that, um, see those three working together, making a video and stuff on EC3, free the narrative. That could work. He could go over to freaking Impact or something, return to Impact and do a little something from over there for the X Division title. I don't know. I don't know. But I can definitely see him working with EC3 and Braun Strowman and doing some type of video together. Shane Thorne. Shane Thorne. Last but not least, Shane Thorne. I'm not going to talk about Jackson Riker. Well, maybe I... You know what? I will talk about him a little bit after Shane Thorne. But right now, we're going to talk about Shane Thorne. Shane Thorne. Man, oh man. This... I, I feel bad for Shane Thorne, man. I really do. Shane Thorne has been nothing since he's been on the main roster. Absolutely nothing. He was partnering up with Nick Miller with, with TM61 a few years ago. And then when that went, when that went to shit, apparently he went to do a solo career. Went to do his solo wrestling career. He was going to be infused with Johnny Gargano and a bunch of other people, you know. And then, of course, they wanted to build Retribution. So who did they put in there? Shane Thorne. A.K.A. Slapjack. Or Slapnut. Whatever the people, whatever you want to call this man. I don't care at this point. And then after that, he ain't done shit since then. Ain't done nothing. Retribution was, was dead from the get-go. D-O-A. Dead on arrival. Easily dead on arrival. Where does Shane Thorne go, man? I, I don't know. I don't know. AEW should not get Shane Thorne, to be honest with you. I, I don't think they can use a guy like him on AEW. Now, he can go to, I was going to say Ring of Honor, but right now Ring of Honor ain't doing nothing right now. I can see him going to maybe a, maybe to an impact. Maybe leaning towards a... You know, a situation where he could, oh, I don't know, maybe go to MLW or he can go to NWA. Like, that could be a perfect fit. Maybe he, he's going to NWA, doing a little bit of something, do a little bit of here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can see him going through, go, doing, doing some stuff because he's actually, he's actually a talented wrestler. You know, you can use a guy like that on your roster, especially when you want to push somebody to the limit, especially when you want to, Either a mid card champion or who knows, he could be a mid card champion leaning towards to the big championship. I I have no idea. And yeah, I think Shane Thorne could definitely be going somewhere. Should go, should go somewhere like an MLW or an NWA in the near future. 
Last but not least, Jackson Riker, this piece of shit racist fuck. I don't know why um, WWE keep continued on letting this man um, on the on the roster. I don't know why. I honestly don't understand why did you keep allowing this man after what he said with his racist tweets and everything else, talking about Black Lives Matter as garbage and this, this, that. I feel like that's so disrespectful among every black man that's been that's been around in WWE, even outside of WWE. Now, with Jackson Riker, I don't understand why that you did not release him from the pre uh, along with the previous people that you have released. That's this is what I was saying before, like a few months ago, when they released Braun Strowman, Buddy Murphy, and a whole lot of people. Jackson Riker wasn't nowhere near on that list, but everybody else was, was released. Even though they deserved to be released, because they didn't really do much for the company. But now they did Jackson Riker. He was doing great for the for the Forgotten Sons. And as soon as WWE found out what he said on his racist tweets, they split the Forgotten Sons up. And they didn't really do much. Yeah, they show up on TV here and there, but after that, no. They really have became Forgotten Son. And then right, what happened right after that? Blake Matthews and Steve Cutler, they was working together with Baron Corbin. And you see how that turned out. That didn't work. Then right after that, he was released. Absolutely released. They was released from the company. So Jackson Rocker had to go to Monday Night Raw, teaming up with Elias, and turns out that Elias turned his back on Jackson Riker, trying to have Jackson Riker turn to a baby face, and that didn't work. It did not work whatsoever. Jackson Riker needs to stay the fuck away from wrestling, bro. Keep your racist ass away from wrestling. You don't deserve to wrestle. First of all, you suck. You fucking suck, bro. You cannot wrestle. You have not wrestled good since you was in Impact. When your name was Gunner. Yeah, I remember you. Your name was Gunner. Get the fuck out of here. You want to keep this racist fuck on Monday Night Raw while everybody else gets released? Even JTG, one half of the crime time, even said it on his Twitter feed. I forgot when he, he posted but he said it himself. So you mean to tell me he said it? He said, so everybody else is released except for him. And he put a big picture of Jackson Riker on the cover. How do you release everybody else but keep this motherfucker on the damn roster? But you expect us to believe in a guy like Jason, Re Jason Riker. Seriously? Get the fuck out of here. Where the fuck does he go? I don't know. To hell for all, for all I care. I don't give a shit where he goes. I don't care where he goes. If he goes back to Impact and be named as Gunner, fine. Do what the fuck you want to do. Just get the fuck off my damn TV. That's all I want. Sick of this shit. I'm getting sick and tired of WWE constantly... Not giving none of these superstars, except for Jackson Riker, we're not going to include him. I'm just pissed off that WWE doesn't, doesn't find the decency. Look, I dropped my damn phone. Doesn't have the decency to give these talents what they deserve. They deserve to be booked on top of the card. And the only reason why Top Dollar, Ashante Adonis, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Tegan Knox, Drake Maverick, B-Fab, all these other people, including people like a Karrion Cross, including people like a Keith Lee, including people like an Ember Moon, including people like me and Yim. Every single people, I, person I just mentioned in this fucking conversation is the only reason why they have been released because they were Triple H's guys. They were Triple H's people. Triple H actually believed in them and gave them a story. Gave them something for us to believe in. 
But what does Vince McMahon do? He does the exactly the same damn thing as what he did to NXT. Kills them! How the fuck do you go ahead and kill something that Triple H loves? How do you do that? How do you do that? Yourself. How, Sway? I don't understand this company. And I'm starting to see why a lot of people have become AEW marks or AEW fans. Because AEW and Tony Khan respect fans and they respect talent. Vince McMahon don't respect no damn body. He don't respect nobody except for the people that is sucking his dick in the backstage. People like Nick Khan, or John Laurinaitis, and, or fucking Bruce Pritchard. It's fucking ridiculous to me, man. And I should not have to be raising at the top of my voice right now, but I'm getting pissed off about it, man. It's just not funny anymore. So who's next on the goddamn main roster? Who is next? It is so bad so with all these people being released, WWE 2K22 shouldn't even be fucking out. I don't give a damn if they want to give out new updates for January or updates for March. I don't give a fuck about all that. The more they release superstars, the more the game should not even be coming out. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. I'm tired of suffering, y'all. I know a lot of y'all who are who are who are WWE fans are tired too. You try to believe. You really do. You try to believe. You just like me. You try to believe in the company. You try to believe that there's a this little glimpse, a, a little a little piece of hope within WWE, but there's no hope. The only hope, the only hope that we ever see from WWE is if AEW continues to shut them down to the point where they finally open their eyes and say, look, we got to do something better. We got to do better, man. And it's, it's like I said before in my previous videos, as long as Bruce Pritchard is still behind the scenes in Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. As long as him and Vince are still behind the scenes, WWE will continue to die! Period! That's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Because my right now my throat is in pain and I need to get some water. Hope you guys enjoy it, man. Enjoy this shit show of a ride. Because it's going to be much worse down the future, down the line, within the future. That's going to be the end of this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Tap on that bell for notifications so you don't miss any single videos. My uh, part eight of Batman Arkham Asylum will be dropping tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. Um, for Thursday. This, um, this whole video is going to be on for Thursday. And also, guys, I will be talking about uh, W2K22 and the, tra the trailer, the new trailer update breakdown that they did um, did, that they did around this particular time this morning. I don't know why they're doing this all now because we all know the game's, game's going to be outdated. Um, stay tuned for that. Uh, this is your boy Desmond D, a.k.a. Destination Gaming, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace, y'all.